Hi everyone, I'm back here with the piggies. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, it's because I actually ran out of ideas as to what kind of videos I should make for you guys. And so I thought today I will show you how I expanded the piggies cage and just talk about some updates and how the piggies have been. So here's Miko's. And I don't know, is he deciding to eat or not? Or... Yeah. So he's still in his pet store cage. This is the Living World Deluxe uh, guinea pig cage. It is really small, but it's actually only temporary as um, we'll be moving soon to a new house. And I'm hoping that when we move to that new house, I'll be able to get him a bigger cage. And there's Mao! <laughs> hey Maui! Yeah, these two don't get along so they are separated by the cage bars, but we found that um, since Minion's passing, Mao has been a bit lonely so we put Mikos down here with them and we also noticed that Mikos has become more lively. Mikos is a senior piggy. And I think they're happier living this way. So anyways, let's get on with the actual video. This is Maui's cage right now. It's basically two pester cages connected together by these grids over here. If I can get up and just... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I scare you? It was really fast. Hey, Mau. So yes. Um... Basically, it's connected by these grids and some parts of their pets are cage. This this grid right here actually came with cage, the, the ferret cage. Why are you just following me around? Hey. Oh. Um, and then I've made these ramps with these grids that I've bent and put these towel linings there for grip. So that they're so that now he is able to go up and down the ramp safely, and he's peed all over that one, so that one needs a wash. And he's just here. Basically, what I've done is this area right here is his sleeping area, and I've put his food bowl right there instead of putting it up there because he tends to pee and poo where he eats, and I don't really want him peeing and pooing on the fleece as much because the fleece starts to smell bad and then I ended up having to change it all the time. So just to save time and labor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so you can see Maui is enjoying his wrap. He goes up and down really fast. How I've done this is I have used the grids that these grids, the white grids that you see are that um, they came with the cages. This this cage right here um, is actually a ferret cage. I think it is by like a local pet store because I tried to look at the brand on the box, but it doesn't have a brand name on it or anything. It just says ferret cage starter kit, um, something like that. So yeah, I don't really know the branding for that, and I wouldn't even recommend it for anyone. For any of their pets, small pets, because it is way too small by itself. So, basically, what I did with this ferret cage is I took off its grids because the grids were actually melded together, so I couldn't like it had a lid on top of it, and you couldn't take the lid off. Basically, I didn't want that because I wanted to have like an easier access to Maui so he can be more up close and personal with me and so that's what I did. I took out the grids and replaced them with these uh, storage cubes that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond and they were I think $25 and each box had 19 grids I believe and so this is the result of it. You can see it's like a really small cage. So what I did was I built a level which 
rests just here and I've put this stick right here what you doing <laughs> I just put this stick right here to support the upper level when he's on top of it and then under here that's where he can go and sleep or you know just hide away and then I have this grid right here which came with with um this cage right here um i have it I, I think it's some sort of ferret food rack thing or whatever um but i'm using it as a um sort of like fence so that he doesn't jump off and then over here the same thing we just got these grids um going down and I've connected them all with cable ties. You can see right here, there's a cable tie connecting it to secure it. And there's a cable tie securing it here. Um, in my opinion, it looks really messy right now, but um, when we move, that is when I will be hoping to get these. this other cage called, I think it was the Midwest uh, Habitat. It is the best guinea pig habitat cage out there in the market right now. So I'll be getting that, hopefully. So that is basically how I put this cage together. This cage right here is um, the Living World Deluxe Rabbit Cage, I believe. It is the standard one for the rabbits. And this well they were both similar in size i actually recorded the sizes down here i can just read the what i wrote here okay so the ferret cage is actually 0 0.5 square meters and the rabbit cage is actually 0 0.52 square meters so if you add those two together that will equal 1.02 square meters. So this cage is actually enough for two guinea pigs and you can even squeeze a third guinea pig in here but I would not do that because that'll not be enough space basically because more is better when it comes to piggies. Right. I would also like to talk about this level that I've built for Maui. Um, I did put some vinyl underneath for more well um to prevent his feet from going through the grids right there i was originally only gonna have a towel or like towels on top but i didn't know if that was gonna be enough so i was like you know what i'll just get a scrap of um vinyl and just put it down to size and uh, put towels on top and a fleece. So that's what I did and it works awesome. I got it. It's, I don't need <laughs> You can get it from any like DIY store or like Home Depot. Um, I found it in our basement because my dad does a lot of um, fixing in the townhouses that we ran out. So um, that's what he does and I just basically nicked some <laughs> scraps but he won't miss it and it's for Maui so there he is eating his hay um I do just have his hay scattered here because I find that he likes to lie in it and this whole thing is basically one big litter box so over here we have Mikos just eating in his pellet bowl right there we got this hay bag from Cooley Designs. I met uh, Cooley Designs on Instagram and I found the Etsy shop that Cooley Designs has on Etsy. I will put the link down below in the description. And Miko seems to really love this hay bag. The reason why I have a hay bag for Miko's and not for Maui is because well, this is a way smaller cage than that of Maui's, so it does get dirty faster. 
So I found that by keeping the hay in the hay bag, um, Miko's uh, doesn't smell as bad because like if you've ever smelled hay that's been peed on, it's disgusting. It smells really bad. So this keeps it nice and clean. More clean hay for Miko-chan to eat. Hey, baby. So cute. He is so cute. If you guys have any questions regarding my cages, um, let me know and I will answer them for you. I'm not really sure. I'm not that good at explaining, so I really hope that I've been able to explain their cages uh, thoroughly enough so that you guys will get the gist of how to expand your own guinea pig cage if you have a uh, pet store cage and are planning on expanding. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.